Hello, Acolytes, and welcome back to Dead Space 2. <laughs> um, I just want to start off by saying uh, I am sorry. There were some problems. Um, for those of you who follow me on Twitter, um, the videos uh, that I had recorded for episodes 2, or no, I'm sorry, 3 and 4, um, were supposed to be done and out already, um, but... There were some microphone issues that I didn't realize I had until after the fact, and it ruined the videos completely. So, yeah, lost about an hour of gameplay from that, and, um, yeah. So, uh, unfortunately, I can't go back either, and <laughs> because I didn't make checkpoints, so I can't go back into recordings to redo them. Um, so, I have to... I'll kind of try to catch you up here in the story. Um, I believe the last time... That I started, we made our way through the maintenance area of the sprawl. Um, basically just making our way through. And um, there was, I think we were, got on a tram, had the tram sequence, uh, missed the tram sequence, if you unfortunately um, got surrounded through that. Uh, and then also uh, got into a trash compactor, didn't get trash compacted, surprisingly. <laughs> also didn't get crushed by the tram. <laughs> which blew up, <laughs> and um, now uh, Diana, our little contact, uh, has, had us been, uh, has had us going through several unitology buildings, um, and it's not looking real good. Not sure what she's, uh, what she's motivated by, but uh, here we are in the, looks like the unitologist temple here on the, uh, here on Titan Station. Um, and that's where we left off, but I do apologize. I did not know after until after the fact that there were some microphone issues. Um, I did check them today, at least, so <laughs> hopefully it'll be okay. Um, and I will, of course, make sure to check after this video is the other thing. <laughs> All right, so let's get into it. Let's see where Isaac takes us today. This place is creepy. That's what all I'll say about it. All right, Isaac, we gotta go this way. But first, what's in here? A text log, okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Attention, tour guide staff. Please remember to keep all visitors in your sight at all times. The indoctrination centers are strictly off-limits to the casual public. Remember, be in the room for those who walk in darkness. Remember, be the light in the room for those who walk in darkness. Okay. Following your... Wow. I think at, I think at a point, if your religion has indoctrination centers, there might be something wrong. <laughs> I think you've gone beyond a certain point. What? Oh. Well, of course they're in the temple, too. Oh, yeah, right. There were three bodies here. Now they're gone. Let's go this way. Indicator's taking me this way. Ah, yes. The, uh... The strangulations. Uh, we saw those all over the place. Uh, we actually went through the unitology dorm rooms, basically. A, a bunch of uh, unitologists all in one area, and they uh, all did the same thing. Going to meet their maker, supposedly. Another text audio log. During services last Sunday. The first was minor and only blew some candle flames around, giving Pastor O'Brien a much needed, if unexpected, boost in his sermon. Uh, the second cycle was more harsh, resulting in a pressure snap that popped people's ears and sent several to medical. That was not needed. <laughs> Weird. Um, bodies? 
it's weird how these uh, it's hard i'm not sure it, it, it's when i'm trying trying to look at the uh unitologist it's hard to say it definitely looks like there were people who were definitely in it for the money uh surrounding the religion i think everybody has to give a tithe to join the religion so there were definitely people who were taking advantage of people's uh disparity basically and then there were also people who just vehemently believed in everything that was said by the unitologist so um i guess it's kind of like real life religion i suppose <laughs> you mortals and your religions I don't really have that where I come from. There's only one belief, and that's the obelisk. Welcome to the Unity Hall. This magnificent library holds copies of the church's most sacred texts and is a regular meeting place for the Unitology scholars as they debate the glorious mysteries of the Black Marker. Note the intricate details of the stained glass roof forged from the hand-filtered sand of Titan itself. The black marker. I will say I like the decor. It's almost like the obelisk, actually. The slate look to it, yeah, it's pretty close. Except it's not, we're not very decorated here. It's just a lot of dark. <laughs> a lot of slate and a lot of dark. I don't really have a lot of embroidery. I like their uh, the acolyte robes. They look look, look uh, bleh, geez, look really cool. Bleh, 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 bleh. <laughs> like look at these. Okay, I meant to pick up the body. Now that's really cool. Oh wow, look at that. <laughs> nice. Do you have anything on you? You did! That's why we checked the bodies. Check the bodies. For loot. What did that say? This way. Oh. Good. Yeah, I thought I heard it. This thing is you can actually kill those mid-animation. Got to it before it could uh, transform another one. Hello. Acolytes, is that you? <laughs> Speaking of acolytes, did you guys switch sides on me? How could you do this? After all the trust I put into you and not sending you to the pit, and you betrayed my trust like this? It's alright, Isaac. You have my uh, permission to uh, dispose of them. Traitors. Traitors! That is actually a really cool mask. It's really funny to see this uh, this parallel between the second and the third game. While the third game had its uh, problems, I will say the aesthetics of the third game uh, definitely were something I did enjoy. Isn't that right, Isaac? Exactly. He has no idea. <laughs> oh, open top elevator. Don't like that. Oh, 
Where is this? Wait, what? Oh, is this the uh, other side? It is. Okay, well, don't need to go that way. Welcome to Indoctrination. A church seminar is currently in progress. Please wait for the next available church associate. Indoctrination is a pleasant, joyous event where you will take the first steps into glorious oneness. That is, unitology. Indoctrination. I'm pretty in sure indoctrination meant the same thing as it does uh, in other circumstances in this timeline. Supposed to go the other way? Indoctrination test phase one. Results for Casey Milham. Desire to socially belong, high. Unassertiveness, low. Gullibility, low. Tolerance for ambiguity, uh, high. Cultural disillusionment, low. Idealism, high. Susceptibility to trance-like states, low. Self-confidence, high. A desire for spiritual meaning, low. Awareness of group influence on individuals, high. This subject is highly unlikely to stay affiliated with the church after a short period of time. We would expect him to exit the system after the tithing requirements section of initiation. Oh. Excuse me. I am reading here. <clears throat> Where was I? Uh, we should invite him to go as far as he'd like, but do not book future earnings against him. Hmm. So they were indoctrinating people. Like super indoctrination. That looks like it comes off. What this? Okay, I pull out, put in. Oh good. Wait. Oh, much better. So I can get out. Let me out of here. See you guys. <laughs> That's one way to clear a room. That was too soon. Yeah, way too soon. Much better. Oh. Uh, okay. Oh, I can't help you. You are, uh, you're dead. There's, uh, nothing else to be said. A lot of ammo in here. Weirdly. Let's save. Saving! My favorite part of a video game. Security suit. New suit! What this? What this? Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Well, just get out of the way. Alright, much better. 
All right, Isaac, get in the vent. <clears throat> oh, sorry. Ventilation shaft. Much better. Hello? What? What's the matter? <laughs> make us whole, Isaac. Like, make us whole. Isaac, what are you doing to yourself? Where'd you get the needle, actually, is the better question. <laughs> Ooh, power note. How is this? Oh, data pad. Whatever they call it here. Nice room. I really do like the aesthetics of the uh, Unitologist. It's because they're evil. <laughs> like me. <laughs> Lots of blood. I like the blood decor. It's everywhere. Where is this? Oh, I'm supposed to go that way. Um, library. The hell? Oh, that was on that. Where is this? Where am I? Oh, is this the uh, indoctrination center? It is. All right, Basilica. Uh oh, Whoa, we got some fast boys. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Take this, take this. All right, down the elevator. That's it. What? Uh, infidels. I see. All right, who's up? Go ahead. I'm waiting. Come on. I know you're here. Hello? I thought they were here. Oh yeah, they are. <laughs> Dana, I'm locked out. There's something in the church, it, it broke the door. Hang on, I'll try to override all the gates from the area. There's something out here, too. Isaac, you're very familiar with these ones. Come on. Hello? This was a walk in? Except now they're here. Ow! You bastard. Because all my health. Jeez. Stop that. Come on. Shoot off its hand. Did that, that actually shoot off its hand? No. Come now. I'm not very scary. Much. I got your leg. <laughs> Dana, you there? Isaac, I can't unlock the elevator. Can you do anything from your rent? Let me see what I can do. Okay. Once you're through, you'll go through the funeral room of the church and down into the ah. 
It's very important you not disturb. Not what? No. No, Earth has can't damage in here. Not in here. Data! Data! Important that I want. Important that you make us whole, Isaac. Make us whole. I'm just gonna use that. I don't care. It's fine. Who cares, really? You guys are supposed to use those, but who needs those when you have guns? Sure what I did. Did I just unlock this? I think I did. Who this? A dead guy. Oh, and a power node. I will take that. Oh, more ammo. I'll take that. Funier, uh, fun you. Funerary wing. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> funerary. Funer funerary. 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 <laughs> eh? Why are your languages so hard? <laughs> I have to go that way. Reunion Chapel. That sounds nice. Ooh, gift shop. Ooh, gift shop. Yeah, this is where I want to be. I want to be here. For several reasons. One, to use these. Alright, what? Where am I putting my points? That's the question. Um, like general damage? Oh, no, 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 no. That's fine. Um, maybe pulse rifle? Possibly. Hmm. Hmm. They say pulse rifle, yeah? Upgrade the pulse rifle, and that should be good. Good little secondary weapon. Security suit, alright. 20,000. Pulse Rifle receives a 5% bonus to damage. Yep, that's why. Put it on, Isaac. It looks cool. I'll play the music. There it is. <laughs> nice suit, Isaac. I told you it looked cool. Am I right? Oh yeah. Looking spiffy. Uh, do I want anything else? Don't think so. Maybe just one of each. Alright, good to go. I all reloaded. I have 300 rounds of that. Almost 400, actually. <laughs> I think I need to use the pulse rifle. I think I need to use it. Gotta go this way. What is Reunion Chapel? Okay. Guess it's just the catacombs or something? Children of the Marker? Oh. Uh, you good, dude? You just stay over here. Uh oh. Oh. 
Conveniently placed. Can't really see in that. They put them in a freezer. They don't actually put them in a an actual casket. It's like a deep freeze. Do these get. They must be uh, for the funerary ships they were talking about earlier? Yeah, I think this is something you guys missed, actually. the There was a. There was mention of. No, wait, I'm sorry. Is that the first game I'm thinking of? <laughs> My brain is all kinds of whack. Um, I, do, I do remember them mentioning funerary ships. They would actually move. I didn't actually see you there. I'm it controlled. Uh-oh. I know where this is going. Time to get chilly, Isaac. Chapter 5. What, I don't get a suit? I guess you're already wearing one. I am already wearing one. Right. Very temperature controlled, wow. Like an insulated bulkhead. Very good, very good. This is what I like to see. In a necromorph apocalypse. Frozen bodies. Oh, good. Even better. Oh. Much better. <laughs> you good, Isaac? You good? Huh? You feeling all right? <laughs> you feeling all right, Isaac? I don't think he's feeling good. There's more loot over here. We need that. Open up. Hello. Hello. Nobody's around. What's going on? Oh, there's one definitely in there. Hello. something. Yep, there's one. That actually got me. <laughs> I'm going to admit, it got me. Got me a little bit. Just a little. I was even expecting it, too.
All right, there will be definitely be more in here. There's a bigger area. Come on. Yep. Audio is a little weird. But this is an older game, so maybe a different type of sound system is being used. Don't do it. You're not dead. You're frozen, though. Must be exit. Gravity controls. Huh? X log. Facilities worker order 118745. Problem. Crypt coffins keep getting stuck in the tracks. Oh, uh, that's not good. Repair status. Examine the track systems delivering coffins to the crypt. One coffin was jammed inside. Release gra uh, gravity. TK'd to coffin free. Took several attempts. Coffin damaged. Uh, Examine the track system. Several support struts had broken free. Wrapping the track. Warping the track, sorry. Uh, the cold of the crypts caused brittleness in the poorly executed original welds. Uh, realign the tracks. Welded struts properly back in place. Tested five coffins. Uh, all passed smoothly. Work completed. Closing ticket. Estimated completion done. Five hours. Okay. So, the coffins were having some issues. The filtration system for them. Dana, I think I found the exit, but it's way above me. Gravity controls are locked out. Dana? Fuck. They call her Diana earlier. <laughs> Dana. Sorry, Dana. What's that? Oh, good, good catch. <laughs> I don't know if you can see me. You need to go up. Do you hear me? You need to go up. Yes. I know which way up is. Ripper. Okay. All right, time to turn gravity off. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 hold on, Isaac, hold on. All right, well, I guess never mind. Maybe I can still grab that. I can. What this? Oh, this is timed, isn't it? Yep. I think this turns off artificial gravity. Wait, what? Excuse me? How fast is that? Wanna run that by me again? There we go. Now? Oh. Can I ride the elevator back? Oh, never mind. Uh, how's this gonna work? Yeah, I see that. Okay, yep. And on up the... Oh, yeah. Much better. Okay, so how do I get through here? Because I slow it down after the coffin, sir. Damn. 
I can. And I'm through. Well, that was easy. Medium med pack, nice. Okay. Wait, where are the coffins coming from? Oh. That's where. All right, turn it back on. Isaac, damn it! I think they're jamming our signal with a mobile device. Oh, excuse me, sorry. Someone getting a frequency on that jammer. They must have a gunship position near the compound. Now what? Change your plans? No. If they knew where we were, they would have killed us by now. Oh shit! Signal fading. Okay. Follow my locator. Oh, store. Hello. Conveniently placed. Ripper medium med pack. Nice. Okay. Definitely sell that. I uh, don't think I need a seeker shells because I don't have the seeker gun. Don't need this. Nor do I need these. Um, what do I want? Go ahead and buy one of these and one of those. That should be good. Got plenty of ammo. I think. Oh, good. The power's off. There's a bench here, though. Damn, that is dark. <laughs> what this? Oh, hello. Oh, power's back. Okay. Weird. Hello. Is that a save station? Oh no, it's a uh, vent and a safe station. Because I can't go this way. Alright, where do I want to put my points? Let's start going down the rig. Try to get to a next uh, health bar, preferably. And also save. Because this episode has run long enough. I'm going to save here, and uh, that's where I'm going to call it. Thank you, guys. As always, thank you, Acolytes, and I will see you in the uh, next episode. Bye-bye. Like and subscribe. <laughs>